Well, it's probably safe to say some students at a Washington, D.C. elementary school had a day they will never forget. Yeah, not only did they get to meet First Lady Michelle Obama, but she brought a little known basketball player with her, a Mr. Shaquille O'Neal. Our D.C. Bureau Chief Sam Ford is outside OR or elementary tonight with the reason for the visit. The Sam? Obama seemed the Obama seemed to be fond of D.C. area schools, and today they came to Orr Elementary. At least the first lady came to Orr Elementary in Southeast, and she brought a giant along with her name, Shaq. It was easy to see that the first lady was extremely popular with the kids at Anacostia's Orr Elementary, where joined by basketball legend Shaquille O'Neal, she ran, skipped, and kept up with students to promote her anti-obesity campaign, Let's Move Active Schools, a campaign that is now three and a half years old. So make no mistake about it, we are changing the conversation in this country. We are creating a cultural shift in how we live and eat. She spoke to a range of school staffers as well, and one reason she came to Orr, the D.C. public schools, all 111 of them, have been signed on by the chancellor as active schools, meaning healthier food and more exercise during the school day beyond recess. Out and moving, it costs nothing to take a walk, it costs nothing, um, but even when it costs, we're willing. You're going to be fabulous, right? Her use of Shaquille O'Neal was criticized by some groups since his face is on the can of a soda pop. O'Neal came as part of Reebok, the athletic shoe company, which along with Nike are major backers of Mrs. Obama's campaign. As for the kids' reaction to all of this. No, it was amazing. It was fun um, watching them and, um, and exercising with them. At this point, about 4,000 schools nationwide are taking part of Mrs. Obama's program. She said, since in lower income neighborhoods, students spend so much time in schools eating up to two meals a day here, what happens here is extremely important. Reporting live from Southeast Washington, Sam Ford, ABC 7 News.